Singapore announced new property cooling measures, additional buyer stamp duty doubled to 60% for foreigners. <laughs> Welcome to our Welcomize video. My name is Imin. And this is Ken here. So Ken, what do you think? Is this going to correct our property market? Wow, you know, government make another move again that really, I won't say surprise us. We sort of uh, expected this to happen. The market has been climbing and climbing and climbing. But let's take a very quick tour to a bit of history here. Okay, so ABSD, Additional Buyer Stamp Duty, has been first introduced in 2011. At that time, is the main impact is the foreigners and the entities, right? They pay about 10% and then Singaporeans buying the third property onwards, uh, just 3%. So that time, we were like, oh, wow, it's new to us, ABSD. But today, we have quite a few rounds of ABSD adjustment. And let's look at the next one, 2013, okay? We have the ABSD also, okay? Which increased about 5 to 10% like that. Now, you look at the price there. In 2013, the price did actually start to drop until about 1.6 at like that. But the interesting part is that it's not only the ABSD that time. We have other uh, cooling measures coming in that, uh, you know, in the industrial market, uh, we have the SSD, we, in the HTP market, we've got the MSR, and then we also got the, the loan to value. Okay, so once the bank has to loan lesser, the buyers have to pay more, and it affected the affordability that time, right? So that was quite effective. The price went down. And then 1.7, the price showed up again. 1.8, oh, I can, you can even remember. Um, government has to bring in a cooling measure. It has to increase the ABSD that time. Same thing, about 5 to 10%. And then after COVID, despite COVID, we still went up to 1 December. Government coming with another increase of ABSD. And what happens to the price? Just like disregard the ABSD and just cannot go up, right? So today, 2023, we have to come in another ABSD, all right? Now, if history is a guide, we would, I would say that ABSD has never been a good or effective tool to bring down the price. Okay. At best, it does is to, what, slow down the markets, to take people okay. to digest a bit. You know, it's just like um, recently I've been watching NBA, now it's the playoff and the intensity is very high. All the teams want to be the champion. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was one game I saw, right? Every time the opponent uh, have a run of like you know, 10, 15 points, mm -hmm. the other uh, team would have to call for a timeout. Okay. okay. Why? is to cool things down. Mm -hmm. It's to not let the run continue and everybody cool down and let's see what we can do. So I believe this is what the government is trying to do, that the market is going uh, too well or a bit too fast for comfort so government say okay let's have a time out okay, and use this something like that but a big but here is that something really um, uh, shocked me mm -hmm. is that it's the first time for the foreigners and the entities ABSD shot up by 30% that's a lot it's that's always like 5, 10, 5, 10 right. now it's like 30% yes. I, I really want to hear from you there are definitely I think there are more foreigners coming in. Uh. So in fact, I caught in the latest article, mm -hmm. the Taiwanese are also joining the bandwagon to come to Singapore as well. Uh, I think it's fair to assume that the government actually know more than it does. Uh, probably they are really preempting. Okay, they probably sense that, hey, if left unchecked, uh, this influx of foreigners is actually going to cause the price to spike up too quickly. Mm. And that is why they actually want to put in place this ABIC at point in time, not to correct the market, but really to let the price increase at a more sustainable level. Yeah. 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 So, so, so that is what I thought. But Ken, I, I actually have some hypothesis uh, with all these flows coming in. See whether you agree with me or sure. not. Uh. So my hypothesis number one here is this, uh, is whereby, hey, you know, in the past, the foreigners are actually quite targeting the, the premium markets, uh, the Orchard Road type of condos. But I believe with this ABSD, uh, okay, probably they may start shifting down to sort of the mid-tier market, even the OCR market. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, property prices uh, for those uh, uh, properties in, 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 in that segment, Hey, maybe they have a higher increase. I don't know. Okay, why I say that is this because, hey, let's say, for example, uh, uh, assuming I'm a foreigner, if I want to buy a $2 million property, I, I, I need to prepare for like 2.5, 2.6 million. 
okay, before this ABSD come in place. But now with 2.5, 2.6 million, I can only afford a 1.6 million property. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is my hypothesis number one. What do you think? Um, I have to respectfully disagree. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, with, with this kind of increase, um, I would say that uh, a more direct translation will be to the rental market. Okay. Yeah. So there will be more uh, people coming in. Uh, rental will be uh, continue to be healthy. Um, not necessarily price will go up, but price already went up for, for rental. So it's just about maintaining there. And yeah, especially the, the bigger units, three bedroom, four bedroom, I think the, the rent will be very healthy. Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah, so that brings me to my hypothesis too. Uh. So I, I thought that the rental market will actually be uh, healthy as well. Uh. So uh, given that, you know, with this kind of uh, high EBSD, it, it doesn't really make sense for a foreigner investor to invest property in Singapore right now. So it's really, you know, uh, whoever who left or interested to buy Singapore properties are those that really want to buy for stay. Mm. But given that with this high EBSD, some of them probably cannot afford and they will rent instead. So I suppose you agree with me on this hypothesis that yep. the member market will actually remain healthy. Yep. Okay. Now, um, so Ken, I mean, after we talk so much with all this background, uh, you know, at the end of the day, the viewers will be asking these questions. So, so with all this information, how is it useful to me or as a property seeker, you know, what should I be doing differently with this news? Yeah, I would say that every time when these things happen, right? Uh, when I was uh, when I when I was just joined the the industry, it was two oh one one. It was the first time ABSD was being introduced. Oh, good timing. That time, <laughs> that time I was. I was very gloomy. Okay, like, okay. I just joined the industry. Oh, I couldn't imagine. I feel very, very like sad, very dark, if you can use the word. But after going through so many rounds, right, I, I really don't know whether can you all feel my passion here. Because <laughs> I really feel that um the deals always come with a uh, not a stable market. Ah, you see, yeah? okay. When a stable market, you have expectation, I have our expectation. Okay. And our expectation is sort of uh in a way um like a mutually agreed expectation, uh, you okay. see. But when the boat is rock, uh -huh, when we okay, lose okay. the balance, you okay. know, we will have some outliers. Yes. Okay, so some buyers can okay, definitely buyers will be more aggressive in, in negotiating. And sellers may, some sellers, I'm not saying all, oh, some sellers may feel okay. that I need to be softer on my price. Okay. Yeah. So definitely it's a very uh every time when this happens, definitely it's a very good time for uh, genuine buyers out there uh, to seek out opportunities okay. to seek out the real sellers who are willing to be a bit more soft this time so I think this is something especially for first time buyers or people who have no property now to not not go clubbing not go party <laughs> but it's a really a good time to hey look what can I benefit in this market okay so now the other part is uh, for Singaporeans mm -hmm. okay now because because of the 30% increase. increase. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's increased. Yeah, okay. 60%, 65%. Wow, I would say that um, it's, the intention is quite clear. It's directed to the, the prime markets, right? Okay. Uh, prime location, 1911, or very good, like Marina, all this. Mm -hmm. I would say if Singaporeans who aspire to own a property in the core region of Singapore, mm -hmm. I think it's also a very good time to go in now. Okay, but of course that one uh, quantum is higher. Mm -hmm. Now, why do I say so? A foreigner, if 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 a foreigner is continuing to buy at uh, 60%, okay, mm -hmm. now let's look at it. If 1 million property, mm -hmm. okay, this, uh, this foreigner is buying at 1.6 million. Correct. Okay. As a Singaporean, you buy 1 million. Okay. okay la, put it this way. La. Maybe this is your investment property. La. Mm -hmm. You pay 20% ABSD. La. Okay. You still pay only 1.2 million. Okay. Now, the foreigner has to sell 1.8 million, but you just need to sell 1.4 to 1.5 million and you get you get your profit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you are right. Yeah. If let's say, for example, if all my neighbors selling at 1.8, yeah. you know, I, I don't have a lot of competition there, you know, to bring down my price. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, point yes. Out that you <laughs> That's all we have to share with you today. And thank you once again for watching this optimized video. To find more about what Wealthimize is, what is this Wealthimize movement about, do click on the link around this video and looking forward for you to join the Wealthimize movement.
Yeah, so please like, share, and subscribe. All right? Bye. Bye. <laughs>